Alright, welcome everyone, we're Semblance of Sanity. I'm Caleb. I'm Jacob. And we're here for Yu Yu Hawk Show, episode 56. And the Grand Tournament, sponsored by me. Yes. And my love for Yukina. Right, the grand and very dark tournament mm -hmm. in which, well, in this final round, Kurama is facing off against Karasu. Mm. And Karasu is <laughs> on the run. Mm. Mm. Because, mm. like, Kurama went to, like, Australia or South America or somewhere and got some crazy killer plants. Mm -hmm. And they're going mm. everywhere. They, they, they got yeah. infused. They got infused mm -hmm. with some, some, some deep shit. Some, yep. some nasty shit. And then on top of that, Kurama is looking mighty sexy while this happens. So, posing dramatically. Yep, that's right. We with went his from a glorious silver locks. spirit energy battle to a stand battle all mm -hmm. of a sudden. And yep. You didn't bring a stand, Karasu. I mean, he kind of did. It's just not not very good, you know, all ah. things considered. By comparison. Bomber company. Yeah, basically. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Basically. Yeah, basically. So, mm -hmm. y'all, without further ado, let's get into this. All right, yeah, show it, show it getting summoned again. Show it. Impossible. No one can deflect the Emerald Splash. It's so cool to have the protagonist squad be basically full of a bunch of overpowered, ridiculous people. Mm -hmm. yep. And then there's the Himbo Ku Kuwabara just like chilling hey. here and being like, I'm here too, guys. <laughs> yeah. My shit at least looks manly, you know. This is like some magic tricks, you know. I just swing my sword. Nah, this is manly as fuck, you know. Oh, yeah. Karasu's balls went into his stomach, you yep, know, when yep, he saw exactly. that. He's just like, oh, you know? Wow, like, I love that this ability is the kind of thing you would expect from, like, a villain in a shounen <laughs> anime. Yep. Alright, alright. Yay, you took out one. But you're in the air, you're predictable. Oh my god. Oh my god! What would make these crazy living spiked plants better? They had breath weapons. Fucking artificer rogue multi-classing bullshit. Yeah. You're going to have to come up with a smart way to kill it, or else. Bang. <laughs> <laughs> oh shit! Oh! Oh. Oh, shit. What was that? That was the thing on his face. Oh, my God. Yeah, yeah, but it was look, it looked like a creature. Now, it could be that his limiter, it, like, just popped off. Yeah, but, yeah. But what if this just happens and then just blood starts dripping from out, like, from inside it? Oh, my God. I would have liked to have toyed with him a little before he died. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah! I would have thought botany could be so deliciously gruesome. I don't see him blood yet. Yeah! Kuren was just shell shocked. But what's Hie gonna say? Yeah. He doesn't say anything. Holy Toledo, I didn't know Garama could do that. Remind me never to make that guy mad. He transforms back into his kid form. What? I'm sorry, sir, but your face is leaking. Huh? <laughs> hey, jury, get the lead out! It's time to tell us who's won! That is called being terrorized. <laughs> yeah, basically. Um, it looks like Karasu's been soundly defeated, and the winner of the first match is Team Urameshi's Karama! Yeah. Yeah, uh-huh. Oh, we need a new announcer now, you know, uh, too bad. All right, yeah. Let's I guess get, you'll uh, have to get back on Koko stage, Kocho. Yep, yep, yep. <laughs> I would... Surprise, bitch. And that amount of time that's oh, gonna I'm complicate so things. It's entirely my fault. Everyone, forget what I just said. The fight will now continue, okay? This is insane. <laughs> I don't know how much more of this I can take. Kojo or, screams at her, or, filthy casual! Yeah, yeah. Karasu has lost his dear old mask. Indeed, he did. Take a few steps back, Sakio. Things are about to get hazardous. Oh. Oh. <laughs> He's like, I'm just here to watch, oh. so, okay. Oh. 
Oh. No way. Is he going to do some kind of explosive breath? Wait. A transformation. Oh. 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 All right. <laughs> wow. This dub. It's an explicit sign that he's internalizing his power, which means the bombs he creates are now inside of him, virtually making him one giant explosive. Are you serious? Of course. Okay. I'm. Wouldn't that kill him though? Like, maybe he doesn't care. Sure. <laughs> he can just direct it a little bit. Sure. I think you should know Karasu has no loyalties. He'll kill everyone in this stadium if <gasps> he thinks it'll help. <laughs> <laughs> he stands behind Zaguro. <laughs> he goes Zaguro. a little closer. Yeah. Oh. Maximum detonation range. Oh, shit. <laughs> this ain't no garlic gun. This is some, this nope. some spirit bomb shit. Shit. Oh my god! Holy shit! Now we need a new announcer. Yeah, now exactly. We need a new announcer. By the end of this tournament, no one's even gonna be watching the thing. They'll all be dead. <laughs> well, that was lucky. DM rolled a d10 behind the table. It's like, everyone in that direction. <laughs> right. Hey, is everyone all right? What was that voice? That yeah. That almost killed me. I should have him arrested. Oh, oh, you guys hear singing? <laughs> Of course, yeah. Where's Karama? Did did like Yusuke's voice get like rung up because of his his ears and stuff? Maybe. Huh? Oh, did he revert back? Yeah, yeah. Okay. Oh wow, that Karama is like a nasty virus. You just can't get rid of him. <laughs> it does look like this last explosion has taken its toll because now he's back to his original human form. Forgive oh. me for disturbing your train of thought, but shouldn't you take this time to pray? <laughs> oh my god. That's a line. I'm about to meet your creator. <laughs> Damn. You can ask him why he flawed with you. <laughs> <laughs> okay, okay. My inner DM is taking notes. Yeah, yeah. Like lines <laughs> yeah. of villains to say. Shaking. Okay. That. Hmm. Karama, you can't even control the most basic of your attacks. Okay. <gasps> what is he gonna try? Wait, wait. Has Karasu been bluffing? Did he yeah. use all of his energy? Like I wouldn't be surprised. And he's just taking that's... out the fight on him before he can recover? Maybe. And now it's just a martial arts fight? That would be pretty cool if it was. Yeah! Play that animation, that's yeah! <laughs> it's obvious in the way that he moves. Okay, nope, not that. Afraid of something that I cannot see. Whoa! Oh, oh, whoa! All right. Oh, okay, okay. You really thought this would work? Wow! Now he tries it. Uh -huh. You should really consider using some. Well, uh, this stupid jerk is really starting to piss me off. Damn! He knows what Karama's gonna so then he probably didn't put it in the rows earlier. Guys, I don't think he's gonna make it. Unless he's trying to feed energy to the one that's already inside him. Sure. I must congratulate you, though. You've injured me more than once, and that is practically unheard of. More than once, yeah, uh -huh. referencing the other one. Yeah. Whoa, whoa, what? whoa! Oh, damn. Shit. Well, there goes his leg. Okay, it's still attached. That's good. Oh, that was three dimensional. Like, yeah, like pieces. Like, yeah. Don't move another inch, Karama. You're surrounded by bombs. <sighs> oh, Shit. yeah, that's not that's not illegal. He can talk about what, mm -hmm. what he can yep. see that Karama yep. can't because he's weak at the moment. Totally. 
Yeah, 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 yeah. So, here goes. Ah! Ow! Oh! God, the blood in the explosions. Uh -huh. Oh, Karama! Okay, he I don't- I don't think he's dick. gonna die here, but what if? You couldn't have been more wrong about my so-called lack of tact, Karasu. Just as wrong as believing that mark on your chest is only a harmless scratch. Mm -hmm. The smell of the wound so close to your heart will be more than enough for a bloodthirsty plant. You may mm -hmm. not think I possess the ability to summon a plant, but you will soon find out that you were wrong there as well. Wait. I can summon once more in exchange for my life. Oh, wait. Wait, 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 no. Let's end this. Just like his introduction. Ah! Ah, he's going for the torso now. Vitals. Oh my god. Holy shit. Dude, he's just a bloody mess. Holy shit. Oh. Oh. Oh my god. Come on, come on. He's right. not dead. One, Good. This gives him time to do whatever his technique's gonna be. Wow. I cannot hesitate. I barely have enough life energy left. I must destroy him now. You should have stayed down. I may die, but at least it will end in a draw. Oh, he's, oh my he's god! Life energy! Oh, oh my god! It can't be. Where did he find the strength to do this? Oh, holy shit. That, that is some oh fuck you from beyond the, beyond the grave. Oh, Karama, please get up. He isn't moving. Yukina, throw a water balloon of your tears or something. Be. Accept it, Botan. He sacrificed himself to kill Karasu. Please wake up. Oh my god. Yeah. I'm alive. I don't understand. How did I make it? <gasps> Has he been in the form all this energy. time? Each time I take the potion, the duration of its effects shorten. Shorten because every time I transform into Yoko Kurama, I retain some of his power. <gasps> That's how I survived. <laughs> okay. Oh. All right. <laughs> Karama's willingness to sacrifice himself for his team has Holy allowed him to shit. escape with his life. After the first <sighs> fight of the final round, Karama is standing and Karazu is... That's a rest. shot! But the important message is jury waiting to test. <laughs> Karama well, won. Okay, he won. He and, won. And, and didn't need to use a death seed because nope. if he had planted a death seed in his, what was his hand at that time, mm -hmm. he would have noticed it. Because, right. yep. because the Death Seed was used previously, He's Karasu on the alert was on the alert like that. for that kind of shit. So yep. when he actually mm -hmm. did try it and made him think that, oh, this wound has only a single purpose to insert a Death Seed, he then doesn't, you know, right. focus on it much more. And then it's like, mm -hmm. no, 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 no. I it's actually up just a spot that's just a kill a little, shot. Right, a kill shot. So And the, there's blood there, so it's got a target. Cool. Mm -hmm. And I and because yeah. because he used the, and then then it's the whole thing if he uses his actual life force in order to do this last attack, which is a nice callback call back to the mechanic to with uh, when he was introduced yep. of the <laughs> will you sacrifice your life to do this thing? Yeah. Right? Well, yep. okay. Here we go. He is. And the idea that Yoko Kurama mm -hmm. is a an entity that still exists. It's not a thing that Kurama, right. um. You know, is just from his past. It, it it is an aspect of who he is. Yep. But it's something that he's essentially moved on from. So, right. getting that power coming back into him by reverting back to that state, 
being something it that starts is to also, blur the two. Well, right, but it's also something that's kind of tied into the idea of the mechanics that were brought in with the idea of, well, Toguro and um, Genkai, the idea of going back to oh, your okay. youngest self, basically, at your, 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 yourself at your most powerful, basically. Gotcha. In a way, Kurama is learning that or getting a form right. of that it's a bit through more, this magic item right. kind of thing there. It's and a it's bit a, sideways. Right, it's a bit sideways, a bit more of a complicated process because he was actually reborn as a human child and Correct. everything. So, yeah. you know, it's, yeah. it's, it's a bit wibbly-wobbly, but because of magic item, don't magic item, when you start, like, I love that it's not just the, no, no, no your body's building, building a tolerance to it. No, no, yeah. no. It's, that is part of your actual state. So, so Kurama leveled up. Kurama leveled up. They're starting to get a linked again. Times. And yeah. maybe it's, you know, it's something that's happening slowly, which is, all right, cool. It's a, it's a fun way to get around the potential, like, power scaling issue. Power scaling issue. Yep. If all of a sudden there's, like, Da, 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 and then you have this big spike and then you continue at that power level, right? right? But if it's just more of a gradual thing, then it's like, mm -hmm. okay, cool, right? Yep. And that's that's more akin to, you know, how people get better at things in general in real life. So it's it's got that nice little parallel, right? Yeah, and it's a way for him to keep up with uh, Yurameshi because, yep. well, he got a huge power up recently. Oh, so, yeah. Yeah, that's, that's really good here. But also, this is a win. This is a notch on the belt for, for the team, yep. for the boys. Assuming there's like, no bullshit like decision making or whatever yeah, by jury I, because I don't the narrator can, was talking about that but you yeah, know I don't think they can spin this in any way other than potentially the idea that Karama might have to fight a second time I do not think they will rob him of this victory though yeah I well I I think at, at most it could end up being a tie if they go for the thing of the and like I can't remember exactly how it went but if the okay because you collapsed, like you didn't actually fully get up after you used the ability, you then collapsed back down and then got back up, that it's the, you were out for 10 seconds, so on the ground for 10 seconds, so therefore like, it's a tie because you both lost, you know? Yeah. But hopefully that won't happen. Um, yeah, I think I think yeah. the, the positive thing here is that Kurama's going to live, mm -hmm. he's going to be okay, Yep. and we already have one fighter down who was probably the most worrisome of a fighter in terms of the buildup because we we had seen basically what he was capable of right and the um his moves are very lethal right yes. like like not that the others aren't but it's um you well, don't, don't have build up for them really other than the, the Toguro brothers right and the the uh the older Toguro brother is one that we're not really as threatened by yeah it's it's something where his abilities are definitely nasty and we've seen him you know, kill people with them and stuff, mm -hmm. but it's not as binary of like, if you get hit by this, it is causing serious damage, mm -hmm. right? Like you get a bomb that blows up on you. That's, that's a big problem. Mm -hmm. Right. And I love that that actually happened. Like, even though it wasn't like actual body parts falling off of Kurama, yeah. you like the way it was shown of like, There's no, no, chunks no, Chunks no. coming off of him. Yeah. Chunks coming off of him. He is mangled to shit. Right. Like that, that leg, it is not going, it's attached, but it's not being used anymore. Or, like, n not necessarily for a long time short of some Yukina um, healing. Which, exactly. to be fair, she is kind of in this setting of the story so that non-lethal injuries can be right. solved. You don't have to worry about just your protagonists in the future arcs just being masses of scar tissue and, you know, stumps. But Hey, MHA did it pretty well, you know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, there's some cool things you can do with that. But, but okay, okay, that's the first fight and, first fight. Oh my first god. First fight. And I just love all the comedy that they somehow find oh, a way yeah, to put into this. Awesome. The Sakio. Oh. <laughs> right. I, I felt that so yeah. deep in like, my core. When he's like, yeah, he uh, has no loyalty. Uh, he'll, he'll totally blow up this anyway, whole place. So you better stand back. And he's like, oh. And then he says it a second time. And then he's like, Oh, it keeps moving behind. <laughs> well, Chiguro. and on the second one, yeah, on the first one he just like sort of steps back. On the other one, he actually just uh, moves behind directly him. behind Toguro, <laughs> which I love. Like because because okay, Toguro, right? Uh, exudes that like Darth Vader terrifying like imperial. presence, imperial imperial antagonist energy, right? Yeah, Sakio, unstoppable. yeah, unstoppable, right? The Juggernaut, right? Sakio is the is the businessman, right? Yep. And 
A lot of the time, I can find those antagonists to be much less interesting. Sakio, I love what he's Sakyo's doing here. Wonderful. He's he's very smart and everything, but he knows what he's good at and what he's not. Yeah. He is a businessman. He he's is practical. smart. He has money. He's not a fighter. No. So if it's like he has fifty HP, you know, his <laughs> right. AC is eleven. Yeah, know? he's like I am. I am technically not a heroic character, right? right? You know, <laughs> it's just like yes, I will absolutely take mm -hmm. your advice to grow and and get out of the way. <laughs> like that's just it's it's little things of just him being concerned for his well being and safety that makes him feel like. Like an actual person. Like you an know? actual person. Amidst yeah. all of the things of, oh, he likes to watch people suffer. I guess we have something in common, right? Yeah. Just yeah. like, oh, okay. Oh, shit. All right. Yeah. But, okay. The fight. The mm -hmm. fight. Kurama was on the... Well, no. Uh, Kurama had him on the ropes the whole time. Yep. He had a transformation. Mm -hmm. That was rather predictable, and it was kind of the... Ah, oh, I flipped this whole thing on. I flipped the whole script here. But the idea that then Kurama, mm -hmm. who reverts finding out at the very end of the fight why that was it right wasn't just necessarily because the power of the explosion forced him to revert because of the damage was so much mm -hmm. that the yoko kurama form like went out yep no actually it's just this is an unstable thing yeah it's and an unstable you thing. only were able to test it once you and know? also he's saying because he's practiced this so much the duration is getting lesser because he's not making that dramatic of a transformation anymore. The Yoko yeah. Kurama mm -hmm. form is something that he is taking into himself. It's a himself. lot closer. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So Kurama's gotten a lot stronger, for mm -hmm. one, which means also that his measure on his own life energy is also a little bit right. off. He's yeah, like, you're, actually, you're, no, I'm a lot... I'm a lot stronger. Right, you're looking at your speedometer when your tires are the wrong size. You know, it's like, it, it, you know, it won't be quite right. It'll be close, and Kurama came real close to biting it here. Yeah, but yeah. Not today. So, I mean, other than that, this episode basically just gave us raw, just shonen hype mm -hmm. in a fight where two characters that very much exude presence with their uh, with their getup, with their look, mm -hmm. with yep. their verbiage, the 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 lines from Karasu of like, "Aren't you going to pray to your god?" Yeah, that was that was what, awesome. What did he like, say? Like, and and ask him why he was why he made you flawed or something. Yeah, what yeah. What, uh -huh. what, did he, what did he say at that part? Just, oh my god! It's something where Yu Yu Hakusho as a show has a ton of awesome one-liners, but this was awesome even by Yu Yu Hakusho standards. Yeah, that that was that was really cool. So yeah, it's right. Right here, where he's on the edge. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, wait, no, that's not the part. Hmm. Is it here? Oh, I can't find the part, okay. but it's all good. Yeah. All right. But, but yeah, like really, really visually, cool the fight was awesome. And I also really appreciate that when like, OK, so Kurama pulls out an awesome, an awesome ability, right? That we know he has that makes it seem like, oh, yeah, this is totally like in his favor. Right. And the thing is, I kind of bought it like 85 percent that that he was actually going to win, right? Like, okay, when when the plants all like crush Karasu and everything and everyone's like, okay, that's that's it, that's the fight. For the beginning portion of it, I was like, okay, I guess that worked. And then it's like, oh wait, no, not quite. But this was like, this episode felt more exciting than even the previous one, which granted, I guess it's the end, so that makes sense. But like when at the end of the previous episode, mm -hmm. I figured it was going to be a bit more like cut and dry, you yeah. know? Mm -hmm. Is this this it? Yeah, shouldn't you take this time to pray? After all, you're about to meet your creator. And then yep. he starts laughing. <laughs> what? You can ask him why he flawed with you. Yeah. <laughs> Which is like, I don't even know if that's correct, it's... you know, grammar. But the idea of that he like, 
he aired. Right. You can ask him why he aired with you. Now maybe flawed is a little bit it's more of a like, simple word for the. Uh, right. I feel like know. it. It it technically works, but it, it's a little bit awkward to say. But you know. Right. Yeah. Right. You're, you're a mistake. They, thankfully, they kind of had free reign of mostly what to say here because there was no lip flaps. You know, we're looking right, at Kurama's if it, yeah, eyes. Yeah, if he shows here. Kurama, then yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah. But, uh, all right. Yeah, yeah. I'm, I, I took inner notes on that one. That, that, oh, yeah. that was pretty good. You can ask your god why mm. he why he basically messed up with you. It's also, like, oh, shit. The, the whole thing of even Koenma getting, like, untransformed because of the of the blast and everything. And oh, then the you worry, just, yeah. Right. And then yeah. you see just his toddler head on top of his very cool teenager yeah, that wasn't body because of the explosion that was in the very beginning but but yeah I, yeah that was a oh, really was it? cool bit yeah 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 it just happened it just oh, happened gotcha. casually here because he was so shocked by the the viciousness of, of oh yes yes of of the plants and what he was doing yeah loved loved the commentary though from everyone on the sideline mm -hmm. kojo of course just yep. being like yeah juicing him yeah and it's like ah oh, i just all, mm -hmm. all the classic stuff in this episode, Yu Yu Hakusho just did it for us, and yeah. then we get our, our fight. And, mm -hmm. and yes, Kurama won, which was predictable, but, but, yeah, let's let's see how it sets up against the, uh, the round as a whole. Right, yeah. because, okay, Kurama winning, yeah, mm -hmm. but, you know, we don't just need the one win, and I am loath to think about how Kuwabara's gonna fare. Even though I, I I want to believe, I want to believe that he will win. I, I get the feeling that's that's not gonna happen. I would just love to have a moment where Kuabara just accidentally unleashes the biggest mm -hmm. sword slash, and it's just over in like ten seconds. Right, it's, it's like, the, the Tagashi uh, twist. Is, that, it, is it over? Right, he actually ends up having a ton of trouble because like he wasn't figure, able to figure out how to do the black flame yeah, he, thing properly. Yeah, he or, gets like a weird counter as well. Because right, maybe, right. They like, know that he can do that, so then they're like, okay, right, just and play and, around that. Yeah, and maybe maybe it's the thing of where actually the script is flipped, and it's instead of it maybe that you know uh, Kuabara fights the other Toguro brother, and it's that he a fights the giant. You know, sure. Instead, yeah. Because uh -huh. I, I feel like it makes the most sense for Kuobar to fight the cool armored, mm -hmm. you right? Know. Swordsman versus giant, right? Yeah, it's yeah. Like, it's like yes, that that it's just David and Goliath, awesome. you know. Mm -hmm. But then he a fighting potentially the most like um, technically like right. savvy of them outside of, of course, you know, Toguro. Toguro, you know, uh -huh. like yeah, yeah, yeah. But uh, yeah, we'll see. We will. But yeah, y'all, thank you so much for watching this episode's reaction and discussion. If you want to see the next episode's reaction and discussion right now, though, go check out the link in the description below for our Patreon. You can get an early access there. You can watch full-length timer reactions there, and all this comes with Discord access, so you can chat with us in the community there about this show, about anime in general, and also be sure to check out our Twitch channel. We stream every weekday. The info's in the description. Yeah, so if any of that interests you, we'll see you there. But until then, we're Semblance of Sanity. I'm Caleb. I'm Jacob. And we'll see you all next, next time. time.